So what is your opinion of you know small accessible enthusiast cars like I think it's much needed right I mean that's what I said it's a mass market car and um, you know like what the GTI did in Germany you know that you are youngsters for accessibility see when i mean you know neutral the car is so easy to drive right and you can have a lot of fun with it as well that's what i i feel see what see it's so easy to handle yeah none of the front wheel drive cars you know they always have the plow the understeer yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. so this is a very neutral handling you know Do you think cars like these accessible fun cars like these? Yeah. Do you think they create a culture among say people of appreciating cars of as I told you earlier, you know in the mass market to have some you know access to some platform like this, right? It will it'll do wonders. And um, you know so that is what we all made a very fun car on the track plus okay normally people don't drive on the track but on the road as well yeah. it translates still that fun factor you know the performance all of those things are you know very evident yeah and if you had to give someone say who might want to buy this car who is sort of an enthusiast how can they drive cars like these better on the road and maybe if they take it on a track day just one tip if you had to give them see we built a lot of you know safety point of view you know this is the only car this has the the five star rating right and cap so this car the platform itself from a you know a very well engineered and now we have the dynamics as well and the engine to match it so as a package i think it's uh, it's one of the best uh, cars hot hatches or hatchbacks you can buy in the market so you should you should uh, drive and give us your feedback and tell us what you yeah think. yeah of course i'm going to do it yeah i guess in an hour time how was the suv x5 on this it's uh, It was good. I mean, I like this track first of all. Consider, like, I don't have too much experience of okay, driving okay, on track. Okay, okay, okay. But for me, I, which is why I liked it because I, th- I thought it was an easy track for me to right. get used to. Right. Because of how the corners are, yeah. they're, they're not very tight or yeah. technical. Yeah, all this. open flowing. Yeah. yeah. So I found that very simple. It helped me with that X5 as well. Okay. 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 So, okay. did you drive this car on the road? Yeah, I already drove it on ah, the road. Okay. Okay. So okay. I. Yeah, clearly it's very different from the regular Aeros. Yeah, yeah. The steering is much more precise, more yeah, direct. Yeah. Yes. The clutch, yeah. I remember the earlier Aeros it wasn't as light or right. as progressive right. as this. Right. This one in the real world you don't feel tired in right. traffic. Right. So the the uh, we used the Frongs and the i20N as the benchmark. Yeah. And you know, try to be better on the race track of course. It's like nearly two seconds faster than the i20 N line. Okay. okay. Um, the Franx is very light. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. But but it's uh, slightly CG higher. CG is higher, so and it's soft, right? Yeah, yeah. And the steering is very light, so really yeah. not meant for the track. For the track, yeah. Another thing I liked was the engine. I mean, I've driven this engine in the Nexon, but obviously this feels a lot more energetic than what it is in the Nexon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially in the low end, say more more drivable, right? Yeah, drivable much more drivable. Yeah, yeah. 